Hey guys and welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's tutorial, we are going to see that how can we create a glitch text effect in Adobe After Effects. So first of all, we are going to preview that what we are going to create. Now this is the glitch text effect that is we are going to create in today's tutorial. So let's see that how can we create it. First of all, you have to go to composition to create a new composition. Now you can name it anything that you want. I'm naming it glitch. Now make sure that your frame rate is at least 30 frames per second and the duration of 5 seconds for this animation is perfect. Now hit OK. As soon as you do that, you will see that a new composition has been created in front of you. So you go to your layer area, which is present right over here. Right click, go to new and add a new solid layer. Now this is going to be our background. So I'm naming it BG and uh, you can keep any color that you want. Hit OK. Now search for a ramp effect in effects and presets. You will find a gradient ramp effect under generate. Apply it onto your solid layer. Now grab onto the first anchor point, which is present over here to around this position and the second anchor point about this position now you can choose any colors of your choice I am keeping a dark blue color like this and a black color I can uh, okay so this is what I am happy with now you can choose any of the backgrounds that you want or you can just keep the same values as this as well now once you're happy with your background make sure to just lock it the next thing we are going to do is add in some text. So grab onto your text tool and click anywhere on your composition and add in any text that you want. Now once you have typed your text, make sure to align it to the center both horizontally and vertically and also make sure to choose a color that complements with your background. I am choosing a pure white. Now what we are going to do is uh, grab onto our rectangle tool and draw some of the stray rectangles like this. Now, once you have drawn it, you need to move forward for about a few frames. Since we are using a frame rate of 30 frames per second, so we are going to just divide a second into four parts. So move forward to about eight frames in time and hit Alt square bracket key on your keyboard to split this layer. Now, go to the part where this layer is already splitted Make sure none of your layers is selected and using the rectangle tool, you got to draw some other rectangles. Now, you got to just adjust this shape layer so that it starts whenever this layer ends. Move forward to about 15 frames and again, split this layer like this. Now, if you want, you can add any number of layers that you want and for as long as you want, uh, so you can just follow my steps or you can just follow uh, whatever you wish like for this layer I'm adding two shapes I'm dragging this layer up to this point moving forward a few frames then you can also go to edit and here you will find an option of split layer using Control shift D if you just click on it you will find that your layers have split it now you can just delete your upper layer now uh, you got to create a new layer like this. Move it to the point where your layer 3 is splitted and move forward to about a second in time and just split it as well. Now you have to continue this process uh, as long as you want your animation to last. So I'm just continuing this process to about 4 to 5 seconds and uh, you can just continue it as long as you want. Okay, but remember every time you have to create a new layer so you have to deselect your layers that are already created like this create a new layer you can add more than one shapes in this layer like this and one thing you have to make sure that uh, uh, you got to create the shapes in the form so that it covers at least some part of the text because that is where the glitch is going to be shown and through these layers only the glitch is going to be created so you want that uh, your glitch must be 
on your text so that it is visible to the viewer otherwise it will not be visible now uh, once you have created your layers and you are happy with it now as i have created 16 layers and up to four seconds in time all you got to do is select all of your layers all of your shape layers and pre-compose them now right click and go to pre-compose now you can give it any name i am naming it glitch base and hit ok now the next thing we are going to do for a glitch effect is we go to the layer area create a new adjustment layer and name it glitch so you go to rename and name it glitch because this is the actual glitch that we are going to do now you can just turn off your glitch base composition and go to effects and presets and search for an effect called displacement map you will find it under this dot so grab on to this effect and apply it onto your adjustment layer now just change the value of the displacement map layer to a glitch base as soon as you do that you can just preview that uh, the desired glitch effect is already created like this which is pretty cool to look at now what we are going to do is grab onto our all the layers except the background layer together and again pre-compose them name it glitch actual or any name that you want now we are going to duplicate it three times now uh, for this we go to effects and presets and search for an effect called shift channels you will find it under channel so just take on this effect and apply it to the above three layers now once your effect is applied just uh, change the red um, to red and change the value of green to full off and the value of full off for the bottommost layer for the layer just above change the value of red to full off and the value of blue to full off keeping a green and for the topmost layer change the value of red and green to full off keeping it a blue color now if you see the topmost layer is pure blue the layer just below it is green and the layer just below it is red now uh, just select the top and change the mode of these layers to a screen now this is the uh, white text that we have created for the glitch that we have got now just grab onto your topmost layer hit p to bring up position now while you're on this stopwatch icon just press the alt key and click on it now as soon as you do alt click you will find that this space is open for typing anything so you got to type wiggle open parenthesis 2 comma 10 and close parenthesis now this is our expression for a wiggle animation the same thing you got to do for the layer just below it hit p click on alt and the stopwatch icon now type in wiggle here we are going to type 3 comma 8 and for the third layer hit p alt click on the stopwatch icon and type an expression wiggle 4 comma 5 now if we just preview it the next thing we are going to do is add a new adjustment layer and this would be adding noise to our glitch so go to the very first frame go to effects and presets or go to effect on the menu bar here you will find an option called noise and green expand it and you will find an effect called noise increase its value to about a 40 percent make sure that uh, both these values of noise type and clipping are checked now grab onto your rectangle tool uh, to create a mask for this adjustment layer like this now uh, when you are on the very first frame what you got to do is hit s to bring up scale change its scale value to a 0% and keyframe it now move forward to about 2 to 3 frames in time 
add another keyframe for a 0%, move to the next frame, change its value of scale to 100%. At the same time, you gotta keyframe the value of your mask path. So just press Shift M and keyframe the value of mask path. Now move on to the very next frame and change the value of scale back to a 0%. Now you can add this animation as many times that you want. So I'm adding it around here as well. Now with this, our glitch text animation is complete. Here is what we have created. So that's all for the tutorial today. I hope you all have enjoyed it. And if you do, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for more such tutorials. Till then, goodbye.